everybody, welcome to back to the vlog, and I'm coming to you with a tree. Today, I'm taking you on a personal guided tour of our tree, and I'd be happy to do it at night and in multicolor, and white, and blinking, and flashing. So we're going to make this a really great vlog for the Christmas tree. In all honor and respect, thank you for getting all these ornaments. Shall we begin? I'm going to start in the back corner over here just to uh, get this over with. First ornament is a wreath filled with snow and I guess if you shake it then you will get snow. Next ornament is this from the Pooh from 2001. I have no idea what the meaning is behind it but great ornament. I think it comes from Lennox which is a very popular candle ornament company. Why do I keep thinking about candles? Probably because of the Christmas lights. Next is a snowman in a big glass ball and no meaning behind that either. We have this huge silver bell. Yes, it rings. We have this one with my mom's name on it. Um, obviously Santa was something. My very first Christmas ornament. Very nice. A uh, drum. Uh, my that plays the drum, so that's why we usually have this ornament. We usually we usually have a lot of these icicles up on the tree, so you'll see a couple for the video. Right here is Frosty the Snowman. There's obviously snowballs floating right around him, or whatever it is. I think this is to my dad. I'm not sure because we both have the same name. But Merry Christmas and a sled with mistletoe on it. This is an angel hanging off the tree. It is blue and glamorous and it really stands out. This is an ornament from New York. We went to New York about four times. Um, we stopped going for some reason. It was back in 2013 when they had the huge, well, 2012 they had a huge flood and then we went one more time and then we, we ended up stopped going. We'll probably go next year so, some, sometime. Usually in the fall. We probably got that sometime in New York. I don't know the year though. And this is my family, um, mom, dad, and me from 2013. This is my mom and dad. They are snowmen and snowwoman. This is a mitten that we have. Uh, it's purple. I don't know if we put any more up, but I'll let you know. Um, Boston Strong, um, Boston Marathon bombing, so close to home. So we got this ornament in remembrance. It's a really great ornament. I like it. You'll see these a lot too. Um, these are twirly thingies. Um, probably like licorice or maybe even uh, candy canes. This is a gingerbread home. I think it's from 2008. Yes, it is. Um, so it has this Christmas light. Um, there's a hole in the back. So we put the Christmas light right in there. And yeah, it's going to light up in different colors too. Oof, a strike. That means I'm a big, great bowling person. Just a star, none other than a star. Star with polka dots. Santa, another Linux ornament from 2010. A more fragile mitten. Um, it glamours and sparkles and glitters. Pretty nice. A ball with teddy bear on the top and more teddy bears on the ceramic sides. From 1992. Alright, moving on up again. Uh... From, I don't know what year, but this is Mom's, Lennox, awesome. I don't know if I did this one yet, um, Patriots football ornament, beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, Patriots won today against Miami, 35-17, to 17. so our record is 9-2 now, that's good. And Cleveland Browns lost again, 0 wins, 11 losses, I'm so sorry, I do not play for that team. Ohio is just bad at football. I don't know not why. Here is the first of a great ornament collection called the Waterford Crystal. My aunt goes to Ireland every September, and she usually gets these ornaments called Waterford Crystals that they make in Waterford, Ireland. They stopped making them, and they made it in another place, so she refuses to buy them now, but we have several of them, which I will show you later on. This is Santa, um, with a waving arm, if I can. Has this pulley on the back. And his arm waves around, so it's pretty nice. One time I actually thought this was the, uh, thing to pull, and it almost just ripped out, so that's not the thing you pull. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse dancing. Hopefully they are not dating, but at least being friends. This one is a classic right here. Um, I bought it last year. I mean, it does look a little weird, but it is from... Well, you know, Great Wolf Lodge. 
um, my 12th or 13th, 12th probably, yeah, 12th birthday, um, I went to Great Wolf Lodge in Fitchburg, pretty nice. This is Santa and something on the back, um, uh, presents in a New York City taxi. I think I got this in like 2011 when it uh, Gift shop on Madison Ave. This is the second of many Waterford Crystals we have. It's a drum set from 2004. I think this is when I was four years old. Um, I got this with a guy drawing a tree on it. That's nice. It's a Boy Scout uniform, so now I'm in the Boy Scouts. Um, so they just got that to recognize that I'm a Boy Scout. My mom is a hairdresser, so that's why we have this ornament. The girl is holding a hair dryer up to her fingers. Looks like even the fingers are in the hair dryer. Who designed this? We didn't, we didn't put that many on the top, top this year. We're not that tall family. Up here are boots from my brother Nicholas and my brother Alex who have passed away at birth. TTTS, who did that? Um, here's a snowman wood ornament with my name on it. Um, fifth anniversary, 97, my mom and dad. That's a cute ornament. I believe I got this in uh, Disney World, Florida when I was like four years old. Um, Thomas, right there. All right, here's one that I really like and it's really expensive. I'm, I'm gonna tell you at the end. Um, so we have this house here. It's made out of balsam wood. Um, the trees, the house, everything. It's so neatly crafted, it's beautiful. I got it in Bar Harbor, Maine this year. Uh, July 10th, I wish I started my vlog sooner so I can get that vacation on film. Maybe the light should go in here, I don't know. But this ornament was $35. That's a lot, but hey, I wanted it, I got it. My brother's here, Nicholas, Alex, and a cross to go with it. Alright, we kind of went a little too far, right, so we're going to take it back down here. 2011 New York, along with the one from 2011 here. Big apple. Yes, it is really big. Back here is Santa Claus, or unless another big apple thing. I oh, can't really tell. We put that one really far back, and we actually hung it on a wire. So, this tree has wires sticking out, but we have to install them inside. So, we left out some of the really crazy ornaments, the ones that light up and play music and all of that. But they were big and beautiful, but they did take up a lot of space. We had a huge tree, maybe like 1.5 times the size of this. Um, it would real, literally go right out to where my foot is. So it was really hard to get it through a passageway over there. So I just left them out. I mean, no biggie. All right, this is the lighthouse here called Point Loma, California. Me and my family back in 2014 went to California to visit my aunt Stella. We had a lot of fun. We went up to uh, this Point Loma place, which is, I think, just 10 miles from the border of Mexico. So... We do not plan on going back, but we'll see. We have the Grinch right here, dressed in white. No biggie -ee. And my cat is currently under the tree. She likes hiding there. Disney World Florida picture frame from 2009. That's my school picture from kindergarten. My family in bed, 2010. That was a rhyme, Creep, really creepy rhyme. Oh my God, another rhyme. I can't believe it happened this time. This is a big tree, A, B, C, D, E. Rhymes are horrible. But this tree is adorable. Okay, bad acting. Two gingerbread. Don't know it, but very nice. Reindeer on a spear, spherical, ovalish, circleish something. This Santa, pretty weird. I mean, it's made out of this sharp crap. So is this other Santa. It's made out of like the same materials. <sighs> oh god. This one is huge and something I don't really like often, but it's really soft. Um, snowman with a huge scarf on it. My mom loves scarves. Made out of the same materials as these two right here. Uh, present. Big. You. Okay, moving on. The third of the Waterford Crystals. Uh, beautiful. These are made out of pure glass, my friends. Waterford crystal. More things to talk about now. My old cat Misty and new cat Abby. And this is her. Hello. Uh, Yankee Candle Museum. Memorial Day. It's like a memory uh, ornament. My grandmother died back in 2013. This is an ornament in her remembrance. Another remembrance ornament. This is where we keep all our remembrance things. 
Uh, my great grandmother who passed away back in 2012 from October 20th, I think. I don't know. All right, next one. Uh, my grandfather passed away in 2013. Not the one right now. He is currently in Pennsylvania. He has gone for the week hunting with his brother. So I hope he has a good time. All right, a little off track and a little weird. I love this place up in Canada called Tim Hortons. Um, it offers so many variety of donuts and hot chocolate. And in fact, half my own hot chocolate for, from their stores. When I usually go up to Canada or even Northern Maine, they would have Tim Hortons. They used to have one in Scarborough, but they got rid of them all the way up to Bangor and then they'll have them. So it was pretty sad, but I got an ornament in remembrance. A beautiful, breakable sand dollar. This fat Santa and this strawberry have no meaning at all. And this is my elf on the shelf. I think I was drunk when I named it Juice Pop. This is the Empire State Building with the Santa hanging off of it. It's like a King Kong throwback. Um, 2009 I went up the Empire State Building so I got that ornament right there. 7th anniversary uh, ornament from my mom and dad. This is me and the family at Santa's Village in Jefferson, New Hampshire. 2011. It is really beautiful and I really like it. I'm just noticing right now, what is that on the side of our eyes? This one would be a plug-in, but it's a lighthouse from, I think the year 2015. I got it at Annie's Hallmark store in Thuin, wait, New Hampshire. All right, more progress, uh, Bar Harbor. Again, this is a boat I bought at a store. It is a nice boat, it's a nice cute boat. Um, so, yeah, Bar Harbor, woohoo. I, mean, I do recommend it if you're going to stay for a few days and you're going to go around and look at all the sites. Climb Cadillac Mountain, it's beautiful. And go shopping for a couple of nights of sight. And my second Christmas ornament, 2005 Lennox. Here's something I, my favorite ornament. You just tap this and it shows you 28 days, 5 hours, 55 minutes, and 47 seconds until Christmas, which I'm really happy about. I just want this to get the single digit, single digit, single digit, and single second. Oh god, it's close. A bell. I don't know if this is like a Polar Express thing. It probably is, but it rings. This snowman is really not giving me a great look. It has a white mouth, which means it really brushes its teeth. Disneyland ornament back in 2014. Disneyland in Anaheim, California. I just noticed this snowman back here. I don't know if I went over that yet. Yikes. This is a female reindeer. Probably from a Rudolph thing. We have a lot of themes here. This is a Christmas tree with like a gem in the middle, which is pretty beautiful. Um... A little ugly though, but I do enjoy it. And another bell, it might be a brother's thing. And a remark from the snowman with a scarf. It's a snowman with another scarf, not that large though, which I more like. This Santa right here uh, made us ceramics and painted beautifully. It's giving me a creepy look right now. It's the one I like to put up, it's called Christmas Cookies. This is a frying pan and someone just carved out Christmas cookies on it. I do not know if I'm gonna be able to do that. All I'm gonna do is take cookie dough, splat it on that thing, and put it in the oven for 12 minutes. But I do like it raw too. And in real life, I really don't know how they managed to do that. I believe this is Frosty the Snowman. Ah, it's really hot in here. Um, let me take my heater and blow it all over him. Another Santa thing. I think this one rings because it has the bell shape, but it doesn't, sadly. I think it did, unless it fell out. I don't know, not know how. All right, let's go back up again. Snowman family, it looks like the frosty one, but it isn't. Um, oh yeah, frosty thing. I don't think this is appropriate, but he's smoking a pipe. Not a great influence. But anyways, we have these three cute snowmen, probably my family. Another hairdresser throwback right here. Blow dryer, crazy hair. It's like a Marge Simpson thing. A snowman carrying a wreath, uh, probably another Lennox ornament. These lances are pretty expensive, and I do recommend them if you have a lot of money. Right here is, if you did not know, it's the Biltmore. It's the biggest mansion east of the Mississippi River, or in America, I do not know. When I went to North Carolina, I told them, hey, we're going to Biltmore. They sincerely hate that we went, but I do like it. This ornament was $23.75. I still have the receipt on me. You know I like souvenirs. I gotta say, it was nicely designed and crafted. Every little crevice is on here. It is 
my all-time favorite ornament right on this tree right now. But a personal favorite on this tree was the hippopotamus one, with Santa trying to squeeze this hippopotamus down the tree. I think I do remember the jingle by heart, but I'll let it sing to you. But all it says is, I want, and then cuts there. Oh, it actually works now when I do my vlog. And there it goes. But then we'll do this. Another truly working ornament is Christmas Story. If you have not seen it yet, if you have seen the scene yet, uh, this kid, Ralphie, loses the bolts of the tire to go in the road, and swearing follows. There you go. Moving on now. Um, I like to get these ornaments in the bottom before I forget. This is another throwback ornament, I believe. It says love on it and buttons. All oh, that looked real for a second. I don't. Want, I don't know why I tried to touch it. I did not want to forget this. Um, it's a beautiful little glass see-through angel. I like those things. They're pretty. Oh yeah, the one with the wreath. I realized this was my uh, fourth Christmas. Santa with a beard. Um, he's like, <gasps> go to bed, Santa. Too much wine and cookies. The, you know, as you know, Christmas is a lot of religion, so you see a lot of ornaments like these. Um, yeah, praise the Lord. I'm currently vlogging right now, me and my Samsung Galaxy S7 with an OtterBox commuter. Ah, la, 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 la. The, this one. Oh crap! Welcome to Bar Harbor. Everything falls down. Ornaments back up! Yay! This ornament says, "Uh, ho, 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 ho." That's a lot of hoes. Four days before I started vlogging, we went to this place in Miltonboro, New Hampshire, which is in the White Mountains, called Castle in the Clouds. There's this castle which someone owned, and it's one of the most famous in New Hampshire. I recommend it if you're looking for something to do for a day trip. And there's trails leading up to it. It's beautiful. But this is like a replica of the house if you want to know. Oops, spoiler alert. Next is this weird thing. Um, probably another snowman with a huge dress on it. Lady or man, I could not tell. Next ornament, me and Santa Claus. For no reason. Sitting next to him uh, on November something. Next ornament, in the back, there is this window with Christmas tree in it. I like it a lot. Don't get me wrong, it's a, it is a nice little ornament. Now there's this other ornament that is creepy. Here comes Santa with a arch over it. And then there's another ornament here with this kid named Ralphie standing here in a bunny costume. I advise you to watch Christmas Story while you can. Another Christmas Story thing, this guy tangled up in a jacket. I can't put my arms down. Next is my family here. Uh, we're having a jolly good time on this sled. Another Christmas story thing. Guy with a red wire V gun with a compass and stock. Here's the Christmas lamp for whatever it's called. Christmas story. The leg one. They, I, I was at Walgreens one day. They were selling these. So I actually saw a house near Wendy's um, with this. Yikes. Well, it's a major award, isn't it? Oh yeah, you stick the light in here. And yeah, it's light up now. My something Christmas with my name on it. Another Lennox ornament. Christmas story. Woman with a turkey about to be eaten by dogs. And the guy with his major award. Another one similar to the one down here is the uh, shrine with uh, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Uh, look for, like through a window, that's a nice one too. And there's the stocking up here. I don't know why. Oh crap. Why does everything keep falling? Back to the story, uh, bowling pins, bowling ball, yeah, you get the gist. This is the very first one we put on the tree, it's called Peace, Love, and Joy. And no other meaning than peace, love, and joy, and yeah. There's this, uh, this connected, yeah, there's this dove on a Christmas gift thingy. Whatever it is, I think it is a nice ornament. And right behind it, we got a Red Sox shirt, because we're a home of the Red Sox. We don't really watch it, but we like to enjoy the sport of it. Another snowman right next to an icicle, if it licks it. Yeah, no good wig about that. Another ornament, remember my grandfather, a female reindeer. Uh, no other meaning than that. 
this uh, monster I forget the name of. If you watch Real the Red Nose Reindeer, which you probably have when you were younger, you would know. I forget if this thing lights up or not. Um, I swear these things had buttons somewhere. Another water for crystal, right at your alley. Um, angel with a another angel. I'm sorry if I'm rushing or anything. I just want to get through this because we're watching a movie later. Not that I want to end the vlog soon, but at least get something done. 2004, my family, probably when I was just born. Another Santa Claus. I do not know where that came from. Let me sit down here now. Alright, we got another one of those religious things with Santa. Wait, that's not religious, that's Santa. We have a really huge stocking with a lot of presents in it. This huge ceramic ball with a lot of drawing on it. Probably from the 90s or something. Oh yeah, Plymouth Plantation in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Where this country started. Go check it out, it's fun. A snowman with a big present trying to open it. No, you do not open that till Christmas Day. My family told me at 6 a.m. the presents were still magic. And then after 6 a.m. you can open them. Mainly it was just a sleep factor. Now there's a snowman on a sled with Yankee Candle? Yeah, Yankee Candle thing. The scent is mistletoe. I don't know if that's real or if that was just for the ornaments. Now, uh, whatever this thing was called. Nightmare Before Christmas, this skeleton thingy trying to get Christmas instead of Halloween. Another one, this weird guy, I forget his name. And this other guy, which has a weird name too. This girl with a weird name too, uh, that's also part of the movie. All these are part from the Nightmare Before Christmas. I do not know a lot about it, especially this one with the tree. It's like the Grinch or something. Figured out which where is our Grinch stuff. Oh, the dog. That scientist. 1994 sled. Uh, 2004 rocking chair with my name on it. This is the Santa Claus from Real Threat Nose Reindeer. And this is Winnie the Pooh hanging on three stars. This is my parish, um, St. Francis Church, in my hometown. I try to go there every Sunday, if you know what I mean. The last of the Water for Crystals. It's a stocking filled with candy. Forget what year it's from. Up there is a Santa Claus. No meaning, we have like 20 Santa Claus on the tree, so that you know they all mean the same. Next is La Salette. This is a huge celebration in Attleboro, Massachusetts, where you have this light show. It's pretty cool. I advise you go check it out. That's me in a snowman frame. And there's this fat snowman with no arms, no meaning to that. Should I get on a weight loss program? This one I like, Three Bells. Don't ring, sadly. I'm with my family. It's my mom and dad. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. My brother's uh, some snowman thing. And last but not least, the star, the gleaming star, the one that's multicolored. I'm so glad that we actually made it through this thing. If you could count how many orange were on this tree, please let me know if you watched the entire possibly potentially 25 minute vlog. Thank you for watching everybody. Hope you all have a great Christmas so far. I mean, we set these things up on like Thanksgiving. So, thank you for watching. Bye.